Once the weather starts getting a lot colder and darker, you might find yourself starting to look for some accessories that can keep you running outside during the winter months. I'm Anna and along with Andy, we're going to be running through some of the best winter accessories to help keep you running in the colder weather. We're not paid by the brands to say nice things about their products, but these are just a few of the selection out there. So we'll be covering everything from socks to gloves, to hats and head torches. And at the end, Anna and I will be giving you our picks for our favorite winter accessory. Firstly though, if you're new around here, please do hit subscribe and tap the bell icon to be notified when we release new videos all about running, which we do every week. These are the Carbonite gloves from Brooks. So Brooks have released a range of high reflective, high visibility running gear for the winter, the dark nights, and being seen and being safe. So the Carbonite gloves are wind resistant. They also are made of quite a high tech fabric, which wicks sweat away. When I wear gloves, when I'm running, often I get to a point where I don't need them anymore and I instantly need to get rid of them and take them off uh, because my hands have got so hot so quickly. But these ones do let your hands breathe quite a bit and also have a really handy magnet on the cuff, which means that they stick together so you don't lose one of them. Well, that's the idea anyway. So with these running in these gloves, I've found that they're super comfy, they're super lightweight, so you don't really even feel like you've got them on, but they do keep the elements from getting to your poor hands while you're running. So that's the Brooks Carbonite gloves. These are the Ron Hill Wind Block Flip Gloves which do exactly what they say on the tin, I suppose. There's a flip over mitten element here, which tucks away in a handy pocket on the back of the hand. So that's tucked away on this hand here. And that is the bit that's windproof. So if you start to overheat on a run, then you can flip it back, tuck it away and not worry about it too much. And that's one thing I would say that's brilliant about these gloves. They're a really nice weight overall. So enough to keep you warm and the, the extra added benefit of the mitten element does provide an extra element of warmth when you're getting started on your runs or if you're out in a particularly biting wind. But as you start to warm up, I wore these for a run of well over an hour the other day and didn't feel like I needed to take them off at any point, which is a really nice point to note with regards to overheating, which can sometimes be the case when you go out all wrapped up for a run. A couple of other features to note, there are grip panels on the palm of each hand, which I found really useful when driving or holding my phone. And when using a phone, that's something else to note because on the finger and thumb of each glove, there are panels which allow you to use the touchscreen of your devices. Finally, there's a sort of toweling element to the outside of the thumb, which they say is for wiping perspiration. We all know it's probably for wiping your nose on a horrible winter's run, but that's a really nice touch because a harsh fabric there can be a little bit uncomfortable. So these are the Gore-Tex Infinium gloves by North Face. So this is a much thicker glove compared to the likes of the Brooks ones. For both of them, they do have tech compatibility. So it does mean that you'll see on the finger, there's a little on off switch button. Um, it's not a button, it's just the, the logo for it, but it means that you can use your touch screen on your phone whilst wearing the gloves, which you will find is included in the majority of active wear kind of gloves these days. So these ones are much, much thicker, really, really fleecy. And they've also got like a bobbled design on the first two fingers and the thumb on each hand for grip. So for these ones, I would say that they're more of sort of an active day out kind of glove. So if you're going to be scrambling on rocks or like holding onto things, they give you extra grip and that kind of thing. Running wise, they're probably a little bit on the thick side, so not so much for running unless you do get super cold. And also it depends on the climate that you're running in. So you might be living somewhere where you get six feet of snow on the daily. So uh, yeah, if you do get incredibly cold, then these ones will definitely keep you warm. Also with these, you've got the added feature of keeping them together with a little clip so that you don't lose them. Uh, I am always terrible at shoving one in a pocket somewhere and leaving one somewhere else. So you've got that added security of keeping those gloves together. These are the Sealskins waterproof all-weather gloves, and they're by far the most hardcore glove that we've included in our roundup today. We wanted to include some gloves that are a good all-rounder and that might be useful outside of running because actually these are probably overkill for your short runs unless the weather is really severe. They are 100% windproof and waterproof, so they're great for being out on the bike, out for a long walk, knowing that you're gonna be protected from the elements, and of course they're good on a run, but they are so thick and heavy that you could risk overheating and they're a little bit bigger to perhaps store if you wanted to take them off mid-run. Because they're that bit thicker, they come in a kind of pre-curved fit, which fits really nicely. They're lined and really comfortable, but like I said, a little bit more heavy duty and you do notice that. They've got Velcro to hold them on at the wrist, which is a nice touch, as well as 
fingers and thumbs that allow you to use touchscreen devices as well. These are the running gloves from Proviz. They're in their Reflect 360 range. So you'll see they've got these reflective strips on them, perfect for late night, dark runs, for being seen. One thing that I would mention though, is that having worn them on a run and then putting them on the radiator to dry out afterwards because it was very wet, I have noticed that some of that detail has started to peel away. However, the Provis gloves are a really comfy fit. They're, they're quite a tight fit, but also, I mean, fits like a glove. That's the saying for a reason, right? So they're a, a really comfy fit. They keep the rain out. Like I mentioned, they're not waterproof. So they do hold quite a lot of water if you're out on a wet run. These ones are also touchscreen friendly. And so they've got a special little bit on the finger so that you can still use your phone whilst you're wearing them because who wants to take off gloves when they're nice and toasty warm just to use their phone. So the other good thing about these ones as well is that they screw up really really tiny so when you get to the point where you want to take your gloves off during your run you can just bung them in a pocket or in your shorts or whatever they don't have any mechanism to keep the two of them together so just be careful that you don't lose one of them but those are the Provis reflect 360 gloves this is the innovate train elite beanie and i love this because it strikes the perfect balance between keeping you warm enough also being light enough that you don't feel like you're going to overheat or get massively sweaty on a longer run. It's also lightweight enough that if you did get too hot or the weather warmed up throughout the course of a run, you can just take it off and slip it away without worrying about it too much. It has a contoured shape and a stretch fit to give a really nice close fit with a fleece lining for comfort and I did find it was really comfortable. It's also pretty good value and could be a really good option if you have a mandatory kit list for a longer event you might have signed up for. This is the Buff Cool Net headband, which you might have seen in our Christmas presents for runners video. So cool net, don't really want to keep you cool, but it does keep you warm in the winter as well. This one keeps my ears nice and toasty. So you can wear it over your head to cover up your ears. You can wear it around your neck to keep your neck warm. You can wear it around your wrist in the summer to wipe sweat off your brow. It really is a multifunctional piece of headwear, gear, whatever you want to call it. So the buff is made from a really, really light material. So it hardly even tell that it's there. It's really easy to move around whilst you're on the run. Keeps the wind off your ears or off your face and it also keeps the hair out of your face which is really useful for someone like me. So the buff headwear is a really nice way to brighten up <laughs> your dreary running wardrobe if you're if you tend to not go for the brighter stuff then uh, have a little look out for the buff cool net headband. This is the On Merino beanie which as the name would suggest is made from merino wool. It's lovely and comfortable and really does keep you warm. I'd suggest reserving this for the very coldest days if you're going to wear it out on a run as it is a pretty warm hat but it's brilliant for before and after runs or just in a social setting as well so I, I do love this one this is one of my favorites be careful when you wash it though that's a top tip from Anna she said that hers shrunk a bit if she didn't give it the uh, care and attention that it deserved it's available in a few different colors so if you're looking to invest in something where you can wear it for lots of different purposes and also in a casual setting then this could be the thing for you So in the winter, it gets darker earlier, so it's wise to think about being seen and seeing where you're going as well. So this is the Arctic Core headlamp by Petzl. For the price of it, it's not a bad one to consider as a sort of entry level head torch. If you've not had one before and you don't really know where to start looking, then this one does the job that you will need it for. So it is adjustable so that you can point it downwards on your run. It has a white light and a red light version. So the, the red light is great so that you're not gonna blind your running buddies. So you can switch it to red while you're having a chat with them. But also it's bright enough to get you out on some of the darkest trails. The light is 450 lumens. With this head torch as well, you have the option of it being battery powered with three AAA batteries, or it's also rechargeable as well. So you don't have to constantly stock up on your batteries. You can plug it in and charge it. The headband, the stretchy headband on this one is really comfy. It stays put. It's adjustable to fit around your own head shape and size as well. And yeah, basically it is a very good intro to head torches if you want to see where you're going on the trails with all these different settings that get brighter and dimmer as you go. These are the Night Eye Tag Light Magnetic LED Markers, a really simple product designed to keep you safe in the dark. 
They're not an expensive product. They keep it nice and simple. There's a charging port on the end of each one, which takes a standard micro USB to charge them up. They come in two colors, yellow, which is essentially green when it's turned on, and red. There are two settings. Press the button once for it to be on solidly. Press it again for it to flash. There's also some passive reflective printing on the front, so they'll catch the light from street lights, but more importantly, probably from car headlights or bike headlights. And then to the actual functionality, how do you wear them? They are a very simple mechanism. So they have magnets that allow them to clip onto the sleeve of a t-shirt, the backpack that you might be wearing to commute in, the back of a jacket or the front of a jacket, wherever you want to really. They're a nice strong magnet, so I didn't have any concerns about them falling off even when running and, and moving my arms quite vigorously. A nice little thing, potentially a stocking filler, I suppose, to keep you or your loved ones safe when it's dark. Let's talk about arm warmers. So apparently a bit of a contentious subject among some runners. So arm warmers, honestly are not something that I've ever considered wearing when running before. However, you see them all the time on elites or across country where people are wearing club vests and shorts and it's freezing so you can be a little bit warmer by wearing your arm warmers but not having to change the top that you're wearing. So have you ever got ready to go out for a run and been a bit confused about the temperature and what to wear and you don't know whether you're going to need long sleeves or a t-shirt? Well, you can wear a t-shirt and put your arm warmers on and then if you do get too hot, you can whip them off. Or if you're not too hot, then you keep them on and you've stayed warm. So yeah, these are the arm warmers from Provis. They've got the reflective detail on them like a lot of the Provis kit does. And they also have this sort of sticky inner bit around the top, which sits on your arm, make sure they stay in place and they don't fall down. So gonna have to admit, having tried these out for this video, a bit of an arm warmer convert. Next up, we've got the two times U Vector Ultralight Crew Socks. Now socks, I suppose, aren't necessarily a winter specific item, but you do need a good pair of socks. And in the winter, when it's wet and cold, that becomes even more important. Because this is a two times U product, there's an element of compression involved. In this case, the X-Lock system, which aims to provide support for the arch, plantar fascia, and the ankle, allegedly to provide a more efficient foot strike. It's worth noting these are the ultralight version, which refers to how much cushion they have. There's two other versions of cushioning, which get progressively more cushioned. Similarly, there are four different lengths. These are the crew, which is the second longest. You can get a full compression sock, as well as shorter versions that are more hidden in your shoes. And yes, I have an impractical white version from a winter perspective. They do come in other colors as well. I wore them for a nice clean road run to keep them nice and pristine to show you on camera. So in the winter it's worth thinking about taking care of your skin. As runners we go out in all elements and our face gets a battering from rain, sleet, hail, snow, you name it. And then you go indoors, have a hot shower or put the central heating on and again that will dry your skin out. So this is the weather defense facial cream from Premax. So having tried this a few times pre-run and also post-run, one thing that I will say is that it smells amazing. Also what I noticed though when I go out and run and I've put this on beforehand is that I do notice that if my face gets a bit sweaty, the sweat does tend to kind of stay there rather than run off your face. So another super handy thing about this is that it's obviously quite small and therefore portable so you can pop it in your bag or in your running pack if you're going out on the trails for an entire day for example. Consider it a little bit like sun cream. One thing to note is that it is pretty pricey for the size of the product so do use sparingly but you don't need to use too much anyway. And the weather defense cream does just sort of feel like you're just giving your skin a drink. <laughs> so when you feel thirsty and you have water, my skin felt like it was thirsty and this was its water, just rehydrating it. So this is the Weather Defense Facial Cream from Premax. Those of you looking to take on something a little bit more extreme this winter, these are the Innovate All-Terrain Gaiters. If you're not familiar with gaiters, you use them to protect your ankles and shoes from mud, other debris like sticks and stones from, from getting inside when you're tackling some more severe terrain or you might be out for a longer run and wanting to protect yourself for a longer period. You slip them on after your socks but before your shoes and there are three hooks around the edge aimed at hooking onto your shoes. If you have the Innovate shoes that have the hooks built in already then you can hook them directly onto those but if you don't then they come with these rubber o-rings essentially that go underneath the arch of your foot to hook onto the two back rings and then you still hook the front one onto the laces on your shoes. That holds them securely in place on your run and should protect you for a long day out on the trails or the fells.
So as well as thinking about your skin, just thinking about your lips. Personally for me, this time of year, I always get a bit of a chap lip or just sore lips from being out in the cold, then coming into the warm and vice versa. So this is Nivea's Hydrocare Lip Balm. Personally, I'm never normally without some form of chapstick or lip balm on my person. I just like to make sure that I can sort it out if I do get any kind of soreness or chap lips. So this one also comes with SPF 15. So if you're out in the sunshine, sun, where are you? Then it will help protect against the harmful rays as well. So yes, this is Nivea's Hydro Care Lip Balm. Super handy to pop into your running pack or what have you and keep it on you. An entire day. These are the Catula Nano Spikes, and they're essentially an extra bit of kit with a rubber harness on the top that you strap onto your existing running shoes to give you extra grip in really extreme conditions. And by extreme, I mean snow and compacted ice. There are 10 tungsten carbide spikes on the bottom to provide you with the extra traction that you need in those really difficult conditions if you don't want to have specific shoes that are designed only for the few days in the year, in the UK at least, when you get conditions that extreme. They're straightforward to fit onto your existing shoes using the harness on the top, nice and easy, and they come in different lengths or different sizes depending on your foot size. So you need to look that up on the website and then order the corresponding size. The plates themselves that the tungsten carbide spikes are attached to are aimed at evenly distributing the weight from your shoes and also the grip that the spikes provide. This is the 10 litre backpack from Proviz. So I've been using a version of this for run commutes and bike commutes for some time now. So it's obviously highly reflective and very bright. So you can use it as a means for other people being able to see you, other road users, for example. Um, and it's just nice and bright to make sure that people can see you. So the zips on this are taped as well. So it is waterproof and you can fit quite a lot in it. As I say, it's 10 liters. You might struggle getting a certain size of laptop in there. So do just check that yours will fit the dimensions, but it comes also with loads of super handy pockets. So you've got one pocket on the side here to put smaller things in than the main pockets. You've also got two zip pockets which sit around your hips, which means that you can put things in there that you might want to be able to access whilst you're on the run or, or cycling. So things like your keys or a lip balm or something like your credit card to use on public transport, a face mask, the list is endless really. So really, really super useful pockets here, a really comfortable fit. You've got um, a clip that goes across your chest as well as one that goes around your hips and it's all adjustable for you to be able to fit it to your body shape and size. So now it's time to pick our favourites. So out of all of those, which are my favourites? Well, I am renowned for not being able to make a decision, so I can't choose just one. There are so many accessories out there that are available that help making running in the winter and in the cold and in the wet and the dark so much brighter and also so much easier too. Speaking of brighter, the two that I've picked are the brightest of the lot. <laughs> it's the Provis backpack and the Brooks Carbonite gloves. So my pick would be the Ron Hill Windblock Flip Gloves. They are really versatile. I've worn them for lots of different distance runs and in lots of different conditions, and they've survived them all and I've never felt like I've overheated. Plus, the versatility of being able to use a touchscreen device is a really nice touch as well. So what are your favorite winter accessories for running? Is there something you couldn't survive without? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next time on The Running Channel. But whilst you're here, why not check out one of our other videos?